Do you know that in Singapore, pay is important to workers, but there's something else that's equally important, if not even more important? It's not a say why, it's based on survey one. Here's everything you need to know about the flexible working arrangements, also known as FWA, that NTUC has been advocating, simplify and summarize for you. Turn the CC if you don't understand my essence. So, so, aso, if you are an aso or an ape like me, you know something. Everyone in the company is paid differently. Because if you pay everyone the same to be fair, it becomes unfair instead. So, uh, I ask you, uh, if pay can be so flexible for the welfare of employees, uh, why can't work arrangement be flexible too? Okay, uh, last time, uh, we all think we can only produce results when we are in the office from 9am to 5pm. But after the pandemic, uh, some of us realized that we can produce the same results when we work from home from 12pm to 3pm. Yeah, true story, uh, but I still tell my boss I work from 7am to 11pm to produce the results. <laughs> Now what you didn't know uh, is that actually uh, NTUC, the labor movement uh, that represents workers like us, uh, have actually been advocating uh, for this for decades. Uh, yeah. NTUC Secretary General Ng Chi Mei said that as more workers face mounting caregiving responsibilities, they need to be assured that they can fulfill both their work and caregiving responsibilities. And of course, now that we have proven that we can produce similar or even better results in a flexible working arrangement, uh, it's time to make the change. I'm not the one who agrees. Eh. In case you didn't know, uh, NTUC has started the Every Worker Matters conversations, whereby they talk to many workers to understand what workers want. In total, they have engaged more than 40,000 workers. And here's the thing, caregivers, especially women, want to have peace of mind in balancing work and family. In a recent survey by the NTUC's Women and Family Unit on FWAs, 87% of 2,711 respondents, both men and women, say that FWAs are an important factor in their decision making to stay or leave their current jobs. Yeah, 87% yeah. So bosses, uh, if someone quit because they must show face in office 5 days a week, uh, don't be surprised. Uh. Why then you ask? Now, going back to what I asked earlier, if pay can be so flexible for the welfare of employees, uh, why can't work arrangement be flexible too? You see, different people need different salary for their lifestyle, right? That's why they work in the first place. Similarly, uh, different people might need different work arrangements for their lifestyle. After all, uh, we now know results can be achieved even with different work arrangements. Uh. Because the company you work in now uh, is definitely one that has survived the pandemic ma. so confirm have a system in place. Uh. Instead, companies can be creative. Uh. Like maybe uh, let workers work in different times, uh, different places, uh, etc. Uh, depending on the needs of the person. This will be super useful for caregivers. Because let's face it, take a look at your office. Did any one of them have the word caregiver on their forehead? No, right? Yet, uh, some of them might have aging parents to take care of, which is why he can't work late every day. Or some of them uh, have just become parents, which is why they look like they have not slept for days. Psst, the labor movement has also reiterated its call for pay caregiving leave to be made mandatory. Without a system, uh, they might not ask for FWA. Uh. Kind of like right, when we are in primary school, uh, we don't dare to ask the teacher permission uh, to go to the toilet until the teacher told us to go. But talk talk without laws uh, would be useless uh, since our uh, employers can always say, Got law say I must do this meh? Did you hear about the Child Development Co Savings Amendment Bill? Got several things uh, like increasing allowance for larger families, uh, helping organizations to create work environments that are supportive of caregivers, and uh, having policies that make FWA a long term solution. And what Ms. Yo Wang Ying, NTUC Director of U Women and Family and U SME and MP for Parcel Race Pongo GRC, said the labor movement has been advocating for flexible work arrangements for decades, and we continue to believe that FWA is the catalyst for changing workplace norms when it comes to work life harmony, and it is the long-term solution for keeping our working parents in the workforce. Yeah, so uh, you might have cried when the bill to increase GSD was passed, but for this, uh, you might cheer when it's finally passed. Some of the FWA can be like flexi timing whereby uh, uh, we can work 4 days a week while still clocking 40 hours a week, while providing uh, even better output of almost 22% better than working 5 days. By the way, no, I say one, it's a UK study say one. Ah, please share this uh, with your boss. Uh. Also got many, uh, like allowing telecommute, uh, project-based work, etc, uh, etc. Et uh. The goal is simple, don't treat workers like robots and manage them like robots. Because if you want robots, I uh, can spend USD $20 for ChatGPT. In the meantime, uh, do share this uh, because like what I've said before, uh, one voice can change a room. And if one voice can change a room, then it can change a city. And if it can change a city, it can change a state. And if it can change a state, it can change a nation. And if it can change a nation, it can change the world. Your voice can change the world. Haha, <laughs> what? Obama? But this script is written by ChatGPT.